Hello, and welcome to the video to learn how to create and transmit W-2 returns in the W-2-1099 payroll compliance software. Preparing information returns for electronic filing is similar to preparing income tax returns. You must defile W-2 and forms W-2C by uploading the e-files to the Social Security Administration. Although the payroll compliance software creates the e-file, it does not electronically file the return. Before starting W-2 returns, determine where your W-2 e-files will be stored. The SSA encourages all filers to verify W-2 data using AccuWage. To determine the W-2 e-file storage location, click on the e-file manager tab. Click the preferences icon. Note the location of the W-2 e-file storage folder in the W-2 e-files section. Click Close. Now we are ready to create W-2 e-files. To create W-2 e-files, open an existing W-2 return or start a new one. Make sure you have entered all required data in the return, and then click the e-file menu. Click Create e-file. In the Create e-file window, select the checkboxes for the federal and state returns you plan to e-file. Click Create. Click AccuWage Online to be directed to the SSA website. Log in and follow the prompts to test the file using AccuWage Online. Click OK. If you make changes to a return after an e-file has been created, you must recreate the e-file to incorporate those changes. Click Continue. Do not test the state e-file with AccuWage, as it is designed by the SSA for testing the federal file only. Some states require a .txt file for successful transmission of W-2 data. You can change the .asc file to .txt for successful transmission. To rename the extension, right-click the .asc file, select Rename, and replace .asc with .txt. Then click Yes to rename the file. When uploading W-2 e-files to the state website, Please make sure to select the correct file format. Thank you for watching this video on how to create and transmit W-2 returns in the W-2-1099 payroll compliance software.